that's bright. Comparison. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Sometimes I doubt my ring light investment, but no more. We're back. We're back. That's right. We're back. 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 With coffee. We're back. We're back with coffee. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In case you haven't figured it out by now, I am Shell. I am a cosplayer. Long time no see. It is February and that means it is the very start of convention season. I don't know what convention season actually even is. I feel like conventions go around all year, but I guess it's like spring, summer. So I'm just gonna say that. Anyway, with a bunch of conventions coming up for people, myself included, I figured I would share with you my tips for self-care during a convention. Now these aren't going to be the tips that are like, eat three meals a day, get at least five hours of sleep, like shower once a day. Those are the basics. We're not here for basics. We're here to describe how you can be a little extra nice to yourself before, during, and after the convention. Because it's a stressful time. <laughs> it's fun, but it's stressful. So, how do you take care of yourself? So one thing I like to do before a convention is start stocking up on vitamin C. Typically a week out I'll just put some vitamin C powder in my drinks and get a little vitamin C boost. Does vitamin C actually scientifically help your immune system? I don't know. But does it make me feel a little better and also make me more conscientious overall about healthy habits like washing your hands really frequently? Yeah, so I like to do it. Another thing I like to do, not for my physical health, but more of my mental health, is to make sure I get all of my work done before I leave. This seems like a basic, but I feel like a lot of people don't actually do it. So since I'm a university student, this means all of my assignments, including things that are due the Monday and the Tuesday after the convention. I like to do things in advance so I can ease back into my schedule after the convention. And last, but certainly not the least, one of the biggest things I like to do before a convention weekend is keep a very strict skincare routine. I will be the first to tell you that I do not wash my face every day. I'm not that person. But I do wash my face every day a week leading up to the convention so I don't get any weird breakouts or acne suddenly popping up. Another thing I also like to do is change my pillowcase. I change my pillowcase every single night the week leading up to a convention because a lot of the dirt and bacteria that gets on your hair and your face is from your pillow every night. I know this is a good thing to do regularly, but just like washing my face regularly, I'm way too lazy to do that like every day. I do it for the convention though. I do it for the cosplay. <laughs> now you've made it to the convention. This is the during portion. How do you take a little extra care of yourself during the convention? One of my biggest tips, shoe insoles. You can find shoe insoles in any drugstore or like big box store like Walmart. They have arch support, they have toe support, they have a cushy heel pad, and it just helps your feet be so much more comfortable because you're gonna be walking like eight hours a day. You do not wanna be uncomfortable. Oof, you can come hang out, but you gotta be quiet. Who am I kidding? You're never quiet, are you? Never. Another thing I really like to do during the convention is take a foot bath every night. <laughs> and when I say this, I mean I fill the tub of the hotel room up with like an inch or two of either cold or hot water, depending on how I'm feeling. And that really helps either like cool my feet down and kind of like compress them a little bit, or let them like stretch out and relax, depending on the temperature. And this is kind of fun because you can get all your roommates in there too, and like have a little chat session and just like kind of calm down from the day. <laughs> Okay, even weirder than the foot baths, uh, this is something I learned through hiking. After a long day of walking around, I like to lie upside down. And I literally mean upside down. I plop my back on the bed, hoist my feet into the air, and usually rest them against the wall. And I don't know if this actually does anything, but the idea is it's supposed to like drain all the blood out of your feet back to like the rest of your body. Uh, and just kind of like reverse the gravity. And I like doing it, so... I don't know, it works. Oh, well, you're so cute. <laughs> Another thing I like to do in the hotel room is take a shower. Of course, it's a requirement, but I like to take like a really nice special shower. So I usually bring a body wash that I don't use often at all in like a fun different scent. 
and it just kind of makes me feel a little bit more special, a little bit more relaxed. Another thing like the showering, kind of basic, but also really important, get some sleep. I like to bring a sleep mask and also earplugs, even more importantly. Something else I like to do before the con that benefits me during the con is to have a group chat with everyone who's going to be in my hotel room, and we all collectively decide on some quiet hours. Usually it's from like midnight to maybe like 7 a.m. You can make it whenever, but we just decide those are the hours where if you're going to be in the room, you shouldn't be talking at a level more than a whisper, the light should be off, and generally people are expected to be sleeping. For that, I like to bring an eye mask, and I also like to bring earplugs. Usually my roommates are super respectful and I've never had a problem with it, but there's always a chance that the person in the next room over could be like, having a party at 2 a.m. <laughs> so I feel better having earplugs and eye masks just in case, even if I don't use them. The final thing I like to do during the convention for my own self-care is incorporate some quiet time into my day. So I like to take that time every day at the convention when I put on my makeup in the morning. I like to do my makeup with natural lighting, so I'll set up shop by the hotel room window with my little mirror and my makeup bag, and I will just not talk to people. I'll just like do my makeup for like 30 minutes or so and just kind of chill out. So now the convention is over, you had an amazing time, and you took your little self-care steps along the way. What do you do after the convention? One thing I really like to do, similar to my quiet time during the convention, is to have a quiet period when I'm on the way home. I like to just put away my phone, not look at social media, and just like kind of sit in silence for like 30 minutes or an hour and just take a break. You've met a ton of people over the weekend, hopefully you've made a lot of new friends, and you probably want to keep the party going, but I found it really helpful in that transition from the con to the post-con that I take a little break and kind of adjust back into normal life. And last but not least, the final thing I like to do after the convention is do a face mask. <laughs> I kind of save face masks for special occasions when I really want to relax, so it's really nice to me to lie down, play some music, or just lie there in silence even for 10 minutes, and just, you know, have a nice cool thing on my face. Because you've been doing a lot of makeup over the weekend, you've been, you know, probably not sleeping as well, probably not eating as well, your skin needs some love. So why not put a cat on your face? <laughs> So those are my tips for self-care before, during, and after your convention. I hope these tips were helpful and that you can take some with you to your next convention experience. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up below, leave a comment saying what you thought was helpful, what maybe you would change, and consider hitting that subscribe button. You can find more of my content on Instagram, and I have a ton of other videos on my channel as well about conventions and convention experiences, so go check them out. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye! <laughs> oh, you're so good! Oh, you're so cute! Oh, you're so cute. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, those are some deep claws. Oh, no, 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 no. If you want to be free, be free, but please do not claw my knee. Oh, are you eating my wire? This is why you are not invited to these usually. You eat the wires and you distract. <laughs>